Hi Cancer, this is going to be a general love reading for June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to be for everyone, but that's okay. You can check out one of your other signs or you can get a personal reading for more specific details. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. And let's see what is going on with Cancer for the first half of June. All right, we have healing and we have self-worth. Okay, so it feels like you are in healing mode, um, really working on your self-worth, on your own value, just really finding yourself. Could be you, could be another person as well. So let's get into it and see. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the first half of June 2021. Okay, for the situation, we have the lovers crossed by the Ace of Cups. Wow, okay, so that's a lot of love here. A lot of love, wow. Um, so I don't really know what the issue is exactly. It could be that this is all about self-love and you finding finding that sense of love that you feel for another connection, also finding that within, within yourself. Um, we'll see more when we clarify. We'll see what the issue is here because there's definitely a very strong connection that you are involved in. So for the recent past, we have the Queen of Cups. For the near future, we have the Two of Cups. That is more love like just all over the place. I mean, yeah, you are a water sign. You're bound to have some of this element in your reading, but this is like, wow, it's, it really is a lot. So I feel like, yeah, you know, there is a connection here that is very, very strong. There were a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions in the past, and I see that also in the near future. Okay, so very interesting. So for your energy, we have the moon. That is more water. <laughs> for them, we have the tower. More about you is the wheel of fortune. For them is the eight of wands. And the potential outcome here is the three of wands. And a message for you is the knight of swords. All right, Cancer. A lot of major arcana here in the energies for you and this other person as well. I feel like there's a shift that is happening inside you. Um, there's a lot of fears, there are a lot of doubts, maybe a lot of hesitations, maybe there's a lot of repressed emotions, whatever that is, or whatever it is that was hidden from you, and I do feel like it has to do with your own self, this is coming up to the surface. This is um, coming into your awareness, and because of that, there is a shift here, and I really feel like the shift has to do with this healing, really finding your self-worth. For them, I actually feel like that is coming up for them as well because they have the tower here and usually after the tower there is a lot of recovery that does need to take place and so I feel like you're actually healing now whereas this person is going to be um, healing just about right after, right after you. There's a lot going on at the moment. This person is also I don't know what it is that they're dealing with here, but definitely feels like they're going through a crisis. But there's also a lot of movement. So it's a crisis where it's not actually keeping them stuck. It is actually moving them forward. It just might be happening in a difficult way. Which again, um, I'm trying to understand the dynamic here because there is a lot of love. And this is all leading up to love. But at the same time, I feel like it's also coming in with a need for patience as well. And the message for you here with the Knight of Swords, this is all about action. So let's let's clarify and see. So Cancer. So 
So some of you might be dealing with another water sign. Definitely let me know in the comments if you are because it feels like there's just a lot of water um, in this reading, just all over the place. And a lot of emotions and a lot of love. So let's clarify the lovers and the Ace of Cups. So we have the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Devil. So yeah, there is a lot of love. There is a lot of work on self-love. And a part of the reason seems to be because somebody felt left out in the cold, somebody felt abandoned, and I feel like this is something that was um, creating a bit of instability here. Creating a little bit of instability as well as a lot of fear and this may have, if this is you feeling this way, then it may have thrown you into um, like a negative downward spiral, alright? And I feel like whatever that is, it, it feels like it happened fast. Something happened fast to knock you into this downward spiral, even though, like I said, there is a lot of love here. So let's, let's clarify the moon for your energy. Okay, so we have the star, the hanged man, and the knight of swords showing up again. So yeah, see, so there's a lot of movement from a place of seeing things in a different way, becoming aware of certain things. You're healing. So it does feel like you are actually taking a step back um, in order to heal yourself, in order to just really refine yourself again and really feel like you are embodying yourself. Um, this is a lot of healing actually and and I know it cannot be easy because well healing is never easy it means that there was pain at some point and sometimes this pain was hidden so when it comes up to the surface it can definitely feel a little bit uncomfortable so I feel like what you're doing here is that you're taking a step back from this connection even though there is a lot of emotions here but by doing so, by taking that step back and taking that time for yourself to heal and to find your, your self-worth, you're actually really moving yourself forward. This is actually action. It might feel like it's not action because it might feel stagnant. It might feel like you're not really um, doing anything physically, right? But while being in that hanged man. For some of you, it might even feel like you're just kind of waiting around, but this is actually a lot that is taking place. And I feel like it's actually similar for your person here. Let me clarify the Wheel of Fortune for you. Yeah, Judgment, the Hierophant, and the Page of Swords. So this is all about, this is exactly what I was just saying. This is you being able to see things in a different way, bringing things into your awareness just really being aware of what is going on within yourself this is what is bringing about this change all right we also have judgment here this is all about um self-awareness having revelations about your own self and having that rebirth and i feel like that is coming with a sense of self-worth and you just really tapping into your your spirituality more and more and more it feels like you're just learning a lot or you have learned a lot and it's like you're taking those lessons and it feels like you know you are wiser now you have more knowledge because of whatever it is that you have been through and it's because you're allowing yourself to actually face these uncomfortable feelings Wow, Cancer, good job. It feels like you you are being very, very productive here. And in some way or another, it relates to this connection with this other person here. So let's actually clarify what is going on with them, this tower. The lovers, the queen of cups, and the emperor. Like, I... I'm telling you, there's a lot of love here, you know, on both sides. This person definitely feels the 
intensity of this connection. This person definitely has a lot of feelings for you. Again, it feels like you might be dealing with another water sign. Um, this person is going through a very, very difficult time at the moment. They're having a crisis when it comes to possibly how can they regain control or how can they have some control in their in their lives, especially when it comes to handling emotions. I feel like that is an issue here. Um, there may have been some kind of an issue when it comes to um, power in this relationship or you know wanting to really feel like they are in control of a certain aspect of themselves or of the connection and so i feel like there was this contrast between how much power and control do i feel like i have over my own self or over my own feelings versus how do i really feel and it almost feels like these two things were clashing and this is something that now is really being um, broken down, broken down and this person is having a crisis about that and this is moving them forward as well. So just like you have this quick action, this quick movement forward, so do they, but just it's happening in a different way. So let's clarify the Eight of Wands. This is a lot of major arcana that is showing up for you in this reading. I'm telling you, this Cancer, I don't know what this kind of connection is, what is going on here, what is this all about, but it's definitely a lot of major, major things happening for you in June here. So we have, um, I don't remember if I called them out, the Sun, the Hermit, and Justice. So this person also seems to be taking a step back here with the hermit, doing a lot of inner work, a lot of soul searching, wanting to do what is right, possibly even trying to make um, some decisions here in order to move towards happiness. And whatever it is, I feel like they're doing, they're doing whatever is in alignment with their higher self. They're really moving forward. The both of you are, but it almost feels like you're not really doing this together. For some of you, maybe you are, maybe you are, and maybe this is why we have the lovers and the ace of cups. Um, but I feel like for most of you, it's going to be separately. But it's like you're moving along the same wavelength, like you're, you're learning in parallel, but just at a distance from each other. And again, as I said, others of you, it might be that you are together and working through, through um, your individual issues while you are together. Either way, there's a lot of love between you and this other person, and the situation was that somebody was feeling a little bit abandoned here, possibly feeling a little bit low when it came to their self-worth. I feel like that is you, and this is, this is healing for you, and this person is definitely moving forward when it comes to doing what is right and finding a balance. I feel like this justice is actually finding that balance between the power struggle and the emotions. So let's see that Two of Cups coming up in the near future. All right, so we have the Three of Wands again, the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. So it does feel like there's this coming together in your energies. I feel like like the both of you you are you are aligning. It does feel like it almost feels with this 3 of wands. It doesn't even really feel like a waiting energy. It could be. But I it's mostly coming through as like you just know it, like an expectancy that this is happening. Like you're working on your healing. This person is figuring their their issues out, wanting to do the right thing, making their decisions, really moving forward. And so it's almost like, you know, you, there's this, almost like it can't be any other way. That's how this feels. There can't be any other way other than to have this new potential, this new way of being together. I mean, I feel like this is the most positive reading I've done so far for the first half of June. 
definitely. This could even be some communication coming up if you if you are not in contact. And if this does come up, I do feel like it is going to come from the other person because they have the Eight of Wands in their energy. So let's clarify the Three of Wands in the potential outcome and see if they're actually, if this is about patience, is this about waiting? The Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups showing up again, I'm not surprised, and the King of Cups. Okay, yeah, so it is taking a little bit of time, all right, with the Knight of Pentacles showing up here. It is taking a little bit of time, but everything seems to be moving in a very um, stable and it just, it, it's in alignment. It's in, it's moving in the right direction towards love, basically. I see somebody coming in here as this King of Cups. Again, um, more water sign showing up. So this is, whatever the situation is that's going on between the two of you, it seems to be moving towards love. It's just that, yeah, it might be taking a little bit of time, but I, it almost feels inevitable. So I really hope that this reading resonates for those of you who want to be in this connection with this person. Um, again, having the Knight of Swords, this is just saying, you know, just keep moving forward. That's the message here. Keep moving forward in the way that you are. You had the Knight of Cups up here. Sorry, the Knight of Swords up here. All right, because this is moving you towards healing. And I feel like that is the most important thing actually in this reading. And then that is leading you to love, basically. Wow, Cancer. <laughs> Literally, like, best reading ever. If this resonated, let's get your final message. And we have the fixed moon. Hold your vision. I'm telling you, it's like the, um, the pathway is fixed. Like you are moving in this direction that is just aligning you with another person in love. Hold that vision and keep moving forward. All right, Cancer, those were the messages for you. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this and much love.